This lesson will show how to use the T84 to determine geometric distribution probabilities. In this example, the probability of a defective steel rod is 0.01. .01. Steel rods are selected at random. We're asked to find the probability that the first defect occurs on the eighth rod, which means we want to find the probability x is equal to eight. Before we do this though, p is equal to the probability of success, which in this case is the probability of a defective rod, which is 0.01. .01 and then Q is equal to one minus P with the probability of failure, which in this case is the probability the rod is not defective, which is one minus 0 0.01 or 0 0.99. So we know from our previous lesson, the probability X is equal to eight is equal to the probability that the first seven rods are not defective, which is 0 0.99 raised to the power of seven times the probability the eighth rod is defective, which is 0 0.01, which we can also verify using the formula shown here on the right. But again, our goal here is to use the T84 to determine this probability, and we can do this by using the geometric PDF function on the T84. To do this, we select the geomet PDF function, then enter P, the probability of success, or in this case, the probability of a defective rod, comma, the value of x. So going to the calculator, we press second vars for the distribution menu, arrow up to geomet PDF, not geomet CDF. So with the cursor on E, we press enter, enter P, which is 0 0.01, enter, enter the value of x, which is eight, enter, enter on paste, and enter again. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0093. Next, we're asked to find the probability that a next we're asked to find the probability that a defect occurs on the first through eighth rod, which is the probability that x is less than or equal to eight, which is equal to the probability x equals one plus the probability x equals two plus all the probabilities through the probability x is equal to eight. But instead of finding the sum of all these probabilities, we can use the geometric CDF function on the TI-84, where CDF stands for a cumulative distribution function. So going back to the calculator, again we press second vars for the distribution menu, arrow up to the geometric cumulative distribution function, which is F, press enter, and again enter P, which is 0 0.01, enter, enter the value of X, which is eight, enter, now again, because we're using Geomet CDF, this is going to give us the probability that X is less than or equal to eight. Press enter on paste, enter from the home screen. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0773. And for the last example, we're asked to find the probability that a defect occurs after the eighth rod, which is the probability X is greater than eight, which we can also state as the probability that x is greater than or equal to nine, but the geometric cumulative distribution function accumulates from the left, not the right, and therefore the probability can be expressed as one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to eight. Again, the probability that x is greater than or equal to nine is equal to one minus the probability x is less than or equal to eight, which we can find using one minus the geomet CDF function. So going back to the calculator, we have one minus second vars, arrow up to geomet CDF, press enter. Notice P and X are the same. Enter, 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 and enter one more time. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.9227. And this should make sense because notice how this would be the same as one minus 0 0.0773 from the previous question, which does give us 0 0.9227. I hope you found this helpful.